Hi guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the course industry in social media marketing because it's a fucking minefield. It really, really is. And I want to just, from a course owner, and this video, I promise to you, I will not pitch my, my course in this video, but I am going to talk about my course in where it fits in in this grand scheme of things. <laughs> Because the, there's so many different types of courses, especially in the social media marketing space, and there's so many different prices. And, and a lot of the time, the prices don't match up to the value and what you actually need. And people don't really realize what they actually need. So there's a range of different course price categories, guys. There's the $500 to $800 course. There's the probably thousand dollar to two thousand dollar course and then there's the five thousand dollar course they're very different things usually <laughs> however there's a few anomalies before i go into that why does someone take a course and what does a course actually mean so a course a social media marketing agency course or a course in any industry you're gonna pay for the course you're gonna get immediate enrollment into a vault of videos pre-recorded videos um of how to get from a to b however alongside that course has to have some kind of mentorship, whether that be live calls, whether that be a concierge support chat, whether that be um, a community discord, whatever it is, it has to have ongoing mentorship for you to have support moving forward because a video course is not going to give you all the answers. Our course has like over 15 hours worth of content and there's still not everything you need to know in that course just because it then goes a little more case by case. So, Every course that you should be getting into must have the video content, so a bolt of like your fundamental knowledge, and then you must be able to fall into some kind of mentorship. And in my opinion, that mentorship has to be with the course owner. It can't be with, a t it can't really, in my opinion, be with a team of support staff. Yes, they can have that to to aid the mentorship. However, if there isn't an element of the actual course owner doing the mentorship in the, the recorded videos, especially, and in the mentorship after, then I don't think that's the right course for you. I think you have to be able to be able to speak to people like Tom and I, you have to be able to speak to the actual business owners, not someone who just works or they've employed to take the mentorship. Um, so there's two parts, course and mentorship. So where does that fit in, in terms of price? And really guys, when it comes to course mentorship price, People pluck these figures out of thin air. They, they focus it on their brand. They focus it on the following and they focus it on the demand for their product or service. Um, so a $5,000 course isn't necessarily going to give you more value than a $200 course. It really isn't. That's just because they potentially might have a bigger brand um, or they're working with a higher profile customers and they're doing value based pricing. For example, a lot of $5,000 courses are only suitable for agency owners making 30K a month plus there and, and they can price it at $5,000 because they know that, that those people can afford it. Whereas a lower ticket course like Tom and I, Tom and mine, which is uh, $850 used to be $700, but we've increased it due to capacity. And we, we, we have a tiered system of once we hit a number of certain members, it increases in price because we're focusing it towards beginner agencies and we want to make it more affordable. And our whole ethos around our course was never to make money. It was purely to shift how the social media marketing agency space is run and perceived because it's so murky and it's filled with so many shit agency owners. We wanted it to be more accessible to the beginner agency so we could start shifting how people view the social media marketing agency space and start to grow better, like a, a pack of better agencies, which we're doing an incredibly good job at. So there's the different uh, pricing models. And you need to make sure that if you're getting into a course, it has that mentorship offer, that mentorship part to it. And it's with the age and it's with the actual person. Um, then, then what you've got to do. So this is a piece of advice I'd give you when you're focusing on any course, no matter what industry. I would go to the curriculum. Every website of a course has to have a list of what's included. And that's primarily the videos that are included in that vault of content, because that's your starting point. And if they don't, that's a big red flag to me. And if you're getting into a social media marketing agents course, you need to make sure that that course has everything in that video section of what you need. It needs to have how to set up the foundations of your business correctly. So how to set up an agency correctly, because most people have that wrong, even up to 10K a month, they've set up their agency wrong. So you need to have... How to set up your agency correctly, you, it needs to have a massive, massive portion, probably 50% of that course needs to be on how to sign clients. 
And then the other 50% needs to be how to keep clients happy with exceptional service delivery. So that's the sections that need to be 10% set up a mindset, 45% how to sign clients, 45% how to keep clients. That way you've got all bases covered. Whereas what majority of courses do guys is it will be 80% mindset, 10% set up, and then 10% how to sign clients, which someone else will deliver that, that module. And it's stupid. And those courses are always the ones that are charged like $2,000 a month. There's no service delivery in there. And the reason why there's no service delivery in there, so how to, which is the portion of how to keep clients happy, is because they no longer run an agency anymore. Like they sold their agency two years ago. So, and two year Facebook ads and marketing campaigns two years ago were unrecognizable for what you have to do today to get results. The same with signing clients. They don't have the sales part in there now because when they were running an agency two years ago and getting loads and getting good results, you could send DMs, you could send emails. However, now you can't because that's super saturated. So they, which is why their whole, their whole course is mindset and agency setup and how to scale a business when you've not taught the business of what you actually need to scale because they don't do it anymore. So that's where you need to be super switched on. So to, to run through a tick box, guys, make sure that they've not priced it just because they're high profile and they've got loads of followers. So you're just paying for, to be connected to the course. Stupid. Make sure that the course is a, a, a bulked out course. So you've got that foundation of knowledge in a vault of content and it comes with ongoing mentorship with live calls, a community, and you have access to the real people. And then also make sure what's in that video course has sales in it, has service delivery, has agency set up and how to scale. But furthermore, on that video content, check when it was last updated. There's no point you getting into an SMA course in August 2023 when the Facebook ad module was recorded in late 2021 because that's going to be fucking useless or they're giving you strategies of outreach and and the cold calling videos if there's even cold calling videos in there were from 2 years ago and they were telling you niches to go after which you shouldn't be going after anymore like restaurants or gyms this is how like there's so many things that you need to check when you're going into a course and then the final thing guys is make sure the person you're buying a course from is accessible so you can reach out to them any academy member can reach out to me and get a response within an hour but also make sure the person that you're buying a course from actually has an agency now. And you hear loads of people talk about this now, but I was talking about this over almost two years ago on my Instagram is stop listening to people that no longer run an agency. There's people on YouTube that are sharing their course Stripe account, getting their editor to blur it out and then using that and saying it's their agency. There's people that sold their agency two years ago and they're on YouTube telling people this is the correct way to run an agency when they've not run an agency for two years. It baffles my brain that people can actually do that. The day I stop running my agency, the day you never see my face on social media again, because I'm not talking about running an agency, but I don't fucking run one. Like it's crazy to me. So those are just a few checkpoints, guys, that you need to make sure you've got ticked before you go into a course. Um, that being said, courses are an incredible way to get to you where you need to be. Like the learning curve is ridiculous. You're following a blueprint. You've got direct access, hopefully, to two mentors or a mentor that's been there, done it, knows the process and can help you with any of your problems. For example, an uh, uh, academy member last week signed a client. Harry, can you look over this contract before you send it? Bosh, done. Another another academy uh, student. Harry, I'm really struggling to get um, results with the Facebook ad strategy that you've given me. Can you look over my full ad campaign? Right. You've, you've missed this part off. You've not done this. You've not followed this particular video in this correct way. Redo it, get it out um, and get better results. Uh, a client, uh, an academy member wants me to look over a presentation. Right. Looked over it. He ended up signing the next day for $1,500 a month plus 3% in profit share. It's stuff like that that most courses don't have. Like how accessible or do you have to send it off to a team and then it's going to get reviewed or is that even a possibility? Like most people just sell a course and once you're in, you never hear from them. So it's like stuff like that, which if you can get the right mentorship vehicle can really get you on your way, guys. It really can. And that's not my course. There's other courses out there um, that, that hopefully do the same, I'm sure. Um, but if you're really struggling, you want to get to the next level and you just have less than a thousand dollars to to invest, I'd seriously recommend getting into a course, but don't spend thousands and thousands on one um, because it's just not needed. But hope you enjoyed that video, guys. Hopefully, if you're in the mindset of trying to find a course, you can use that as like a checklist of, right, let me explore this person a bit more. Let me explore actually what he's about, what he offers um, and go from there. But we're back posting every single day, guys. So hope you enjoyed the video. If you're listening on Spotify or Apple Music, thank you for, for continuing to watch us and listen to us. Um, 
But yeah, please subscribe and message me on Instagram, Harry underscore SMMA, if you have any questions at all. And yeah, we'll see you tomorrow at 9am for tomorrow's video, guys.